Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jay. This is episode two of Becoming a Self-Taught Luthier. If you weren't with us for episode one, we weatherproofed the roof, weatherproofed the roof, to, which was our first step in the journey of making this a good workspace for me to be able to do new three building tasks. In this episode, we're going to be working on making a nice workbench that goes all the way around down here across where we've got this old one. Nice big L workbench so I can utilize all of the space. This wasn't here before. This here is my dad's workbench he had in his log cabin, but he's moving, he hasn't got the space for it anymore, so I'm going to make use of it. So step one is I'm just going to be taking off some of the trim around here. So it's a nice flat top and some of this because it's not needed. And then we're going to get on to taking apart this so we can start look at how we're gonna frame this out. Okay then, so that has that done. Nice and clear, all the old stuff out. Ready to start building the workbench. The only trouble I found was, I don't know if you can see that, our workbench slightly out of level and would like a nice level workbench. No surprise, the floor of this garage is not level. No surprise at all. So I'm gonna start building a frame out on this end instead of this cabinet here. Because my dad just stuck a nice big strong top on top of two cabinets. That one's gonna stay over there. I'm gonna move this one over into this corner here.
does got the uprights cut. My plan is <coughs> this one should slot in underneath here. I'm going to take the lip off here just far enough in so it can slot in there and I can screw it in place. And this one on this side, I'm going to use a multi tool to just cut out a cavity inside here, take the top off, cut out a cavity. So this can just slot straight up inside there, nice and tight. Get some screws in there, that should be lovely. And then I can put a little noggin down here, which I could probably run a board off in the future or a little bit later on, just to give me some storage space down there. Chisels, thought may have them go. Just clean up that edge, I thought it came quite nicely. Not even initialised them properly yet, I'm waiting for a lever strop to come. This deal is quite a smooth finish. To the next one. is finished. That'll do nicely. I think while I'm here actually what I'm going to do is I've got my new router out. I think I'm going to router out two channels on either side. Cut a noggin just a little bit oversized and notch it in just for some extra support especially if I put some weight on there. <laughs> if I end up deciding to put something down there.
Okay, so we are finished on the first section. Most importantly, most importantly, we are level. You can see. Don't really care. Oh, there you go. Nice and level. Lovely. That's what we're looking for. Got stuff rolling around on me. Notched in. That noggin. Nice and sturdy. Not going anywhere. Stuck with that cabinet back underneath because I thought it actually looks quite nice. It's good storage there. We've got all this space here to be used. Perfect. Just going to extend that framework over to the wall, keeping it level. Build another one of those up there. And I think we'll take off this strip at the end. We'll tie it in together with another long piece, piece of MDF or something, chipboard or something. Because we're going to put one big long sacrificial top on this and I'm happy to get messed up and cut into that can be changed. I may even not extend it to an L place, an L sort of workbench. I might make something that comes down from the wall that I can latch so it can be both and it can also be a walkway. Day since what we did last time, but we've got the wood we need now, so I'm just gonna crack straight on with it. Build another frame like we had last time up against this wall, nice and level.
brings us to the end of this build and this episode. Um, I'm pleased with how everything's turned out. I've just had a quick tidy up of everything and uh, we can run it across so you can see everything. I've cleaned up what wood storage I've got, <laughs> um, organised some of my bits, so I've got my clamps and uh, access to some of my best tools. And I've got all of my power tools all in one space over on the on the uh, storage that I've created on the end there. I should note the circular saw because the charger's not mine, that's my dad's that I've borrowed. So I could cut these bits of MDF which just makes it ten times easier. But that is that is it. I'm not gonna do an outwork bench, I've changed my mind. It's just not necessary and it's nice to have this big walkway to access everything. But this, for all intents and purposes, is perfect. Next episode, we're going to be jumping into something that actually has something to do with guitars. I'm going to be building two radius dish, which is a radius imprinted onto it so that you can imprint those radiuses onto the front and back of the guitars that you build. So, if you're excited, my next one will actually be something to do with Lee 3. And as always, if you've got anything to tell me, because I'm probably new to everything, please leave it in the comments. I look forward to seeing and hearing you. Have a good day, take care. Thank you.